What's up everybody? In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Ring Wired Stick-Up Cam, Stick-Up Cam Wired, however you wanna say it. That's what we're reviewing today. I've had them for now about three weeks or so, and I'm not impressed. So let me get into it, and I wanna show you guys and explain why I'm not impressed with the Ring Stick-Up Cam. All right, so this is the Ring Stick-Up Cam, the wired version which we installed. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll link it as well in the description and hopefully above here. You guys can check out where we installed these Ring stick-up cams. So I have the Ring security system. You can see the keypad hiding back there. We had that and we wanted to add the camera system into it. I thought it was a great idea that I'd only have one app on my phone for security and surveillance. And with it being Ring being acquired by Amazon, I figured it would be a great choice so they would have a bunch of money behind them back behind them the technology was good you guys know amazon alexa stuff works good so figured this would be a good option but the problem is the quality this thing claims that it is 1080p hd video with two-way talk i'm here to tell you that there is no way that this is 1080p this is more like a 480p or so. There's no resolution on this whatsoever. And the reason why I'm complaining about it is because it's almost useless. You can see what's going on around your house or wherever you decide to put this. But if it ever came time to actually needing that footage, whether it was recognizing somebody's face, whether it's looking at a license plate or trying to identify something that way, if you ever had to use the ring stick up cam to try to use the footage in some sort of you know criminal activity where you were trying to track somebody down forget it it's garbage and i'm not trying to be dramatic here um here's another one that one's brand new in the box i'm returning all of them but here's one that i have installed and this so what happens with the wired version it doesn't have a battery in it that's essentially what it means there's no battery in it you have to feed it with power and it'll either connect with wi-fi or you can connect it with a LAN cable like that. So you see there. Another thing that hasn't even crossed my mind or been affecting me per se, but if you look at this thing, see the connection there? Whether you use the USB connection, hopefully you guys can see it this way, maybe that's better lighting, but whether you use the USB connection or you use the ethernet cable, the PoE, there's no uh, water protection, no nothing. So if you were to use that, this thing is exposed to the elements. If you get water in there, if you live in a very, uh, you know, your climate has a lot of water or rain or snow and stuff like that, it is gonna get in there, corrode the terminals and be junk essentially. And I saw that on one of the reviews and I didn't really think about it because we're in a pretty dry and, and rain-free climate here, more desert-like, but that would be a huge factor if you were to do that. So I have that one there, I have another one at the front, just sticking through the window. And the reason why I did a temporary install was because I wanted to test the resolution on this. And I'm gonna show you guys in just a second here the clips where you guys can compare. I did both wired and with the ethernet cable, the PoE, and it made no difference on the resolution. So I have another one here as well. So we fully tested it. Let me show you the other one and I wanna show you two video clips with it compared both ethernet and wireless. So we're gonna go out through the garage here because I wanna show you guys something. So you saw the two cameras that I had inside there, both connected. They had power, but they were connected wirelessly. So the other one I have is outside here. And this one I have facing out the driveway in a typical scenario where, you know, someone might pull up or somebody might enter your driveway, that sort of thing. And you would wanna be able to catch a, you know, license plate or something like that. So here's a car, for example, sitting here, and this car isn't a big car, and you can tell the length of the driveway, it's really not that big. So maybe two cars, two car lengths of driveway. And I'm gonna show you a clip in just in a second where there's a vehicle that pulls up right there at the end, it's maybe 30 feet away, and you cannot identify the license plate whatsoever from this camera right here on the edge of the house. So right now I have the camera wired up, and in an attempt to get some better resolution and quality, I hooked it up with the ethernet cable. So right now it's connected with the ethernet cable and I'm gonna show you guys it doesn't make a difference. So it comes through, it's over here connected to this POE switch. 
So this is a PoE switch. I think it's a Link system or TP-Link. There you go. TP-Link desktop switch with four port PoE. And it is connected right into the actual router. So no games there. This wire is coming up. It's going through the wall. There's an existing hole there from satellite dish. It goes through there and comes out the other side. And I just temporarily put it up to the camera because I didn't want to wire all these things in if they weren't going to work well. But that's on PoE. So let me do a comparison and I'll show you guys the difference between the PoE and the wireless. Okay, so here you can see somebody's pulled up in the driveway. This is on the Wi-Fi service. So you can see that it's pretty grainy. Um, the router isn't too close to the camera, but obviously it's close enough that it has a connection. You cannot see that plate on that truck whatsoever, as you can probably tell. And that's about 30 feet away. So picture's super grainy on Wi-Fi and I can't use that. I, there's no way I could see that license plate unless you guys could. Here is on the wired through PoE. So that vehicle there, you still can't see the license plate. The picture is more clear, but zooming in on this, you still cannot see very well at all. It's not enough to be able to identify a license plate for sure 30 feet away. Unless the person's right up in the camera, there's no way that you're going to see much more. So still not happy with this on the PoE, and this is with the PoE wired, Wi-Fi disabled. I also want to point out that I am recording this video on 1080p at 60, so you guys can compare this video to the Ring footage. So there you have it guys. This is my honest review of the Ring stick-up cam. I would not recommend it. For the price that these things are, at nearly $200 a piece, you know, at the time of this video, I think it might be 175 or 180 if you can catch a deal. But it's really not worth it. I bought these on Amazon Prime Day with my own money. I was hoping and I wanted them to work, but there's between these four cameras, you would spend over $600 and I can go and get a 4K system with eight cameras that runs by itself and has an app for around the same price. So I need the resolution because if anything ever were to happen, I would want to know where who the person was or what the license plate was. It's the whole purpose of these security cams. The purpose of a security cam isn't just to you know be some sort of cute measure that if something comes by or something walks by, that you see it, but you can't identify it. What's the point? I, I don't get it. So anyways, these are a no-go for me right now. Maybe they'll come up with a better version and we can review it at that point, but they're gonna get returns and we're gonna try a different system. I wanna keep it honest with you guys on this channel. So I have no incentive to BS anybody. It's my honest opinion. I would not buy them. I would not pay that price for them, full price. But as always, guys, if you found this informative, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and also the bell notification next to it so you're notified of all the latest videos. We got a lot more on the way, I promise. And we'll see you on the next video. Take care.